Alright, so I haven't been on Trialpad in a while. I haven't used Trial Director in even, even longer, quite frankly. But, I'm going to try and give you a rundown today. Unlike my other video, I'm going to try and compare the two. Not necessarily show you how to use them, but quickly run through the features and show you what's different and let you decide uh, which one's best for you and which one's going to help you the most. So, um, let's get to over here. Trial pad and trial director, right up here at the top. Um, trial pad is the one I'm going to show you first. Uh, let's flip it into war room mode. Okay. Alright, so over here, you see that you have war room mode in this one. Uh, with the blue dot, or purple dot rather, let you show you where my fingers are. So that's really nice. I can use this, I can show other people what I'm doing, I can go over with other lawyers and say, what do you think of this? What if I pursue it this way? Um, and present things in, the, in, this, in this nature. So that's nice. Biggest difference between the two. This one, I believe, is quite expensive as far as apps go. The main difference between Trial Pad and Trial Director uh, is the price. Trial Pad is 130 bucks versus Trial Director, which is free. Uh, but you'll see some differences in these, and I'll run through them as fast as I can. So I set up some things in a, in a demo file here. Um, of course, I've got uh, the NHTSA manual here to work with. Um, just going to shoot through this, uh, drop down on a random page. You can rotate the page, that's fine, but we don't particularly need to right now. Call outs are one of the, the, <laughs> the best things about this. Um, I think they look really professional. So, you drag over this, and it gives you a call out. And you can move it up and down, uh, you can put it where you want it, um, you can highlight on it. Alright, now you see how it highlights on the call out and down here on the text. Uh, on the page itself, uh, which is nice. So you get the highlight, you get the pen, um, you can do a redact. I think, in fact, yes, you can redact in white or in black. So if I select it, redact in white, and it's gone. So that's really nice. Now you can also, uh, you have options on the pen, you have options on the highlighter, I don't think you've got any options on the callout. No, callouts or callouts. Uh, you can redact laser. You've got your options on your laser. She's a green laser. So you see the green laser. Um, now I'm showing you this in war room mode. I will flip this over and show you how it should, looks on the big screen uh, when you're presenting. Because down here, where you've got your outputs, down here, blank, freeze, present. Uh, let's just take a screenshot. Um, that is something that, that uh, is the key to the operation of this entire thing. So, um, well, let's go across up here. You've got uh, page numbers. You can add bookmarks. You can click on the bookmark. Uh, you can add this as a key doc. Now, down here on the bottom, you've got key docs. If I key doc this current page, it saves it in there. So now if I click over here, it's, it's right up here for me to use. So that's nice. But getting back over to where I was, um, you've got a number of options here with this current page, email, print, upload, uh, you can do the whole document. But uh, I'm going fast here because I, I want to uh, I want to get through this for you. So um, you can clear all of your annotations. Um, I want to show you, you can do single page and you can do, you can do two pages. So over here, I want to put a new picture, alright? Now on each of those, you can manipulate them differently. So I want to talk about the HGN, not particularly this page of the HGN, but I want to talk about it. And I want to talk about you know, the distance from the nose to the pen. Um, now, one thing with this pen though. Well, I wish it did. Actually, it doesn't let me. All right, so it lets me draw straight lines, which is nice. However, uh, it doesn't let me draw circles. Not, well, I mean, I can. I can naturally draw a circle, um, but it won't draw them for me. Uh, some of them draw nice arrows, 
but um, it, the limited, it is a little bit limited in what you can, what you can easily do and uh, the presets for you. So this is nice. I, I, I love it. It's just, it works on still photographs fine. And one of my critiques of this is I really wish that it worked on, um, that, that it worked on videos. Like uh, I could just ESPN this thing and pull up my Telestrator and that would be awesome. However, that's not really how it works. Um, but you can't annotate this way, and it's great. And I can I can screenshot it. I can create that snapshot, and it creates a new folder when I do that. You see over here, it's got snapshots, uh, and when I have that, I can let's see what we can do here. We take that one, we'll edit it, we'll assign an exhibit sticker instead of. Uh, just having the one page, it showed the whole view. It showed everything that was on my screen at the time and made that the exhibit. So uh, that's my, uh, that's an exhibit now. It's marked exhibit A. So that's nice and I can classify my exhibits uh, as admitted or not. Uh, let's just select, and edit, mark as admitted, um, unadmit I guess. Add to key docs, duplicate, so it, you get a lot of options that way too. But so the op, the big thing here, and you do have multimedia, you do have. Oh, let's get back over to my files. I, I use this outside the courtroom too. I, I use it in seminars. I'll just zoom in and do my whole thing here. I'll do a whole PowerPoint presentation straight from trial pad. But um, say in a transcript, uh, callouts are great on the transcripts no idea what I'm calling out here but there you go I mean it, the redactions are great um, so it works really well however uh, if there's a few things that I wish it could do you've got audio you've got video um, video has to be in mp4 like if it's gonna play on your iPad it's gonna play um, VLC is great it'll play anything I throw at it but uh, if it's gonna play in trial pad it's got to be compatible with the uh, with the iPad, it's going to be the, that MP4 format, um, which is frustrating. It adds an extra step, but sure, until they get more formats, it still gets the job done. So I mean, you can capture the frame. Um, you can play. You can scrub at the bottom here. You can hit play. You guys haven't seen this one. Kid's a juggler. And he gets stopped by the police and accused of DUI, and of course he gets out and puts on a performance with the for the police, and. Uh, <laughs> and he's clearly very sober when he's doing it um, but as entertaining as this is uh, I'd love to be able to do more with this I'd love to be able to draw on it I'd love to be able to hit his license plate even says juggler so if I was pointing that out I could circle that but I can't do that I, I can't edit uh, I can't use those edit features on the video and I, I'd love to be able to do that um, but I can play audio there's not a whole lot to the visual side of this but when I've had um, testimony uh, that I want to play, this works great. Now, here's the key, going back to the beginning of it. Um, going back to my documents here. Um, when I want something on the screen, say I'm working with a manual, I'm showing this to the, uh, to the audience, to my audience, I hit output. All right, so here's the trick on the outputs. Down here, right below my finger here, is output. When I turn that on, it goes black. The audience sees nothing. So um, that, there's your control. They either see something or they don't. But when I turn that on, it shows black. It says, actually, I think it says trial pad for iPad. Um, but that's because this one here is on blank. Uh, the nice part about it is is there's freeze and present and I'm going to show you this and what it looks like for the for the audience in just a second here but when I flip that switch on the output it'll be blank and then um, you'll be able to see whatever I do on the screen now what that allows me to do with the freeze with the freeze and present is I can freeze what's on the screen and then hit present when I want them to see it and only when I want them to see it. So I can get a slide ready, a view ready, before I hit that present button and then I 
throw it up on the screen when I want to. So let's just show you that real quick. I'm gonna click on the output. We'll just see what I see. And you'll see what we're able to see what the um, audience sees. All right, so I hit it, uh, change the output, and you see the trial pad for iPad. Now, if I hit present, you'll see what is on my screen. So I zoom in and then hit zoom zoom up there for you. So if I do a call out, that's kind of sloppy. Let's say I do a call out, uh, now you see the call out. Okay, now if I clear that. Um, let's do just another call out. I'll tell you what, I've got an iPad here where uh, if I'll tell you, if I had a Apple Pencil on this thing, these would be a lot easier. I would like this a lot better, but I can get the job done with my fingers as long as I'm just careful. If I just, if I'm careful and I watch and I do it slow, I get what I want out of it and, and it works just fine. But, uh, so here's what I said. I've got this on the screen. I hit freeze. So that's going to stay there for you. But on the other, on the on my control panel, I'm flipping into my transcript. I'm changing the page. Um, and then what I'm going to do on my side is zoom in on a particular area of text, and I'll highlight something. All right. So I've got something ready to go. Now when I choose to. I ask the questions I need to ask when I get to that point. Everything's all set up. I hit present and it flips over for you so you can see exactly what I just did. Uh, however, um, that wasn't uh, uh, that wasn't set up. I, I did that as the other as the other slide was on the screen, um, and that's what that freeze does. It freezes the view and lets me set up what I want. So um, that's what I think is is great about this. Um, this is why it's probably my favorite app uh, <laughs> as far as law stuff goes uh, so um, let me flip over uh, that's a quick demo let me flip over here all right now trial director I want to show you the outputs on trial director 2 in trial director I'm gonna say trial pad but I mean trial director I swear uh, in trial director uh, you can see what I'm looking at now it's got, um, notice it's just got the file type. It doesn't have a preview on there. Uh, that's not my favorite um, aspect. I love the preview because I can see what I'm, I'm pulling up before I do it in trial pad. Um, but here, uh, you can see the way I, I manipulate this. So if I want to highlight something, I highlight it. That part is kind of the same. Um, call out button. Right down here, uh, this is my callout button. Nothing special about this callout, but there's my callout. Now it does give me these nice X's, um, and I can move them side to side, and I can X out that callout when you, when I want to, and I like that little X, okay? Um, because I can I can take out what I want as I want to, uh, and I've got a little bit more lateral movement options. So if I do uh, a call out like I did before where it's a small call out like that I can move it and it doesn't get super big and obnoxious all over the whole screen I do like that feature but as far as being feature rich I can't just say that about trial director as much this is the redaction tool I do that kind of poorly but you do have a redaction tool you have a laser tool um, what's this one? Oh, this is just drawing I kind of like this though you can draw circles and squares, um, which is nice. I, uh, straight lines. I think that the straight lines on this one are a little bit, a little bit easier. Uh, maybe they operate the same way as trial pad, but um, you have a wide range of colors. But screwing like that with this is a little bit more difficult. So now I get pink. Let's switch here. All right, there's our highlighter colors. And I mean, great, you've got different colors for all of this stuff. I think you've even got, no, not for the laser, just the red laser. Okay, so those are your options. Um, over here on the left, we've got uh, our documents. We do have multimedia options, and we've got our flagged options. So 
So I've got this page here. I add it. It's like a key doc um, and it's there for, it's like a favorites. Um, so it does have side by side here. So we'll back over to docs, put our transcript on this one. And you do have that side by side, which is great. And you've got the scrubber down at the bottom. So this is nice too. Um, you've got an undo down here at the bottom. This undo. This one just cleared whatever I had on the screen. This is my single view versus double view. Um, so that's nice. See on my single now up here on here, export annotations to PDF. So you don't have as many options. Okay. But um, what I'm hesitant to show you <laughs> is this presents here. I'm gonna try to. I think it's gonna go black on you. Alright. So it goes black on you. Now, I've got, when it does that, I've got clear, pause, and show. Um, so if I'm showing this, you see exactly what I want to do as I do it. With this, do a call out. So you see that, you don't see the little red X, which is great. Um, I wish Trialpad had that little red X, but I can highlight, I can use my laser, I can do everything I can in trial pen. So, well, not everything. I take that back. It does have uh, a, a short, a short list of features. Um, trial pad has the uh, uh, the ability to mark stickers, um, stickers, exhibit stickers, uh, and add them to your document documents. Um, it's got a whiteboard. Uh, I'm sure I could whiteboard this. Let's see if we can just whiteboard this. Yeah, whiteboard. There we go. So I can whiteboard it. Um, you can whiteboard in, in trial pad too. I probably should have showed you that, but, uh, she got a car and he's driving this way. Okay. So you can whiteboard it, which is, which is great. Um, uh, but trial pad has that too. Uh, again, when I play the video though, I can play this video Oops. and it's playing, it's actually playing on your screen, but it's not playing on the iPad which I wish it did, but it doesn't. So, um, which is great, but I still don't have any of those tools. I, I've got no ability to um, switch back over here. Uh, I've got no ability to draw on it. I, I think that would be awesome if, if you could, uh, but it is another, um, another drawback. Now the drawback to both of these, I don't wanna say that this is just trial director, but a drawback to both of these two apps here, is that uh, you can't use Word documents. You have to remember to convert it to PDF first. Um, and uh, you can't draw in videos. Uh, and I wish they could have more video formats, uh, more for format uh, options altogether. Now with TrialPad, um, it does have more features, like I said. Trial Director uh, doesn't have um, the uh, uh, exhibit stickers. It doesn't have the print options. It doesn't have the, the snapshots. Um, but I, I mean, the display appearance, I wouldn't say is quite as great, but it's pretty good. Um, I think that trial pad is, is a better app. I think it's better to work with, uh, but, um, trial director, uh, I think when you're looking at free versus 129 bucks for what I use it for, I'm still, I'm still spending 130 bucks and it has paid for itself in, in I think my presentations, but trial director, uh, is a good option and, and I would still recommend it for somebody who's trying to get the job done or do what they can on a limited budget. If it's me, uh, I like trial pen more. Uh, I'm just saying that trial directors, um, trial, trial directors up there. It's coming along. There you go. So quick comparison. Hope that helps you. Uh, my advice would be try trial director. If you are getting what you want from it, great. But I highly recommend trial pad as the end all be all of these uh, presentation apps. So I think they both would be uh, a lot better with adding a few features. I think if trial director adds a few of the trial pad features that they don't have, it could pull ahead. Trial pad, if, if they add things I'd like, I, I don't think anybody could hold a candle to them. So hope you find that useful.